Hello, I'm Father Paul Shelton. I'm a Jesuit from the Midwestern province and I'm the regional vocation, regional vocation director for the Midwest Jesuits. And I wanna tell you about my cannonball moment. When I was 21 years old, in between my junior and senior year at Marquette University, I had the opportunity that summer to go live and work with the Religious of Jesus and Mary in their convent in Guomorn, Haiti. And the, the women there were wonderful women. They did reforestation, they did nursing, they did uh, arts for, for local women, they taught. They were great, great women. And I was really excited to be a camp counselor with them. Unfortunately, two weeks in, I got malaria during my time uh, working with the nuns. And so all I had to do uh, during that time while I was sick was sit on a hill and read books. And two things really important happened while I was on that hill. One, I could see on the road because I could see the road that came to the convent. And I could see a, a line of people coming to the convent every day. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. And these people were coming because the nuns were helping them. And in my brain, I just saw the star of Bethlehem over the convent. And I just thought, this is the nativity scene. People are meeting Jesus here. And it was a really powerful image of me of, of what a life dedicated to, to the Lord could do for you. And the second was I had two books to read. One book was The Power and the Glory by Graham Greene. It's about a priest who doesn't want to be a priest and who's a sinner, but the circumstances are so bad in Mexico that eventually he embraces his vocation to be a priest and does great things for the people of God. And that was really helpful for me because, you know, like everybody, I'm a sinner and I had some doubts about whether I could serve God. And then the second one book was You Can't Go Home Again by Thomas Wolfe. And that book talked about a man from West Virginia who goes and becomes famous in New York. And then he returns to West Virginia and nobody understands him. And he doesn't understand the people that well either. And that was really influential for me as I was deciding what I was gonna do with my life to, to take confidence and to know that change happens and it's okay to grow and to change. And so I decided kind of quietly without telling anyone I would be a Jesuit. And then at my end of my time, one of the sisters, a great sister from Sevilla said to me, she said, PG, I have something to tell you. I said, what sister, what? She says, PG, one day you'll be a big fat Jesuit. And I looked at sister and I responded, sister, I don't know if I'll ever be fat. And so that's my cannonball moment. I came back to Marquette and joined the Jesuits and the rest is history, I guess. What's your cannonball moment?